Hey everyone, this is Apostol with Front Project. In this week, I'll show you an easy way to build these concrete display shelves. And at the end of the video, you will be able to make these shelves as well. If you learn something in this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I already cut these melamine pieces at my table saw, but if you don't have access or ability to use table saw, you can have them cut at your local hardware store. From the old stereo foam scrap pieces, I cut a spacer to build a mold quicker. But you can also measure the distance. To even make this project simpler, I used CA and hot glue to make the mold. I used activator to make this process quicker. You can see the size and the weight on the display for the shelves. If you use CA glue from time to time, I strongly suggest you to have activator. You can find the one I use in the description. I just use Vaseline as a release agent. Generally Vaseline works well with concrete and plaster. You might already have it at home. And also good for your hands. I applied silicone to the corners and used backside of a pen to run the corners over. The backside of this pen is some kind of rubber material and it works well. I dipped the pen into soap dish and water mixture so that silicone won't stick to the pen. To be able to mount the pieces onto the wall, I used this plastic key holder hanger pieces normally used for small woodworking projects. On one side, I applied strong double-sided tape and need to seal the other side to prevent concrete filling into the plastic piece. Since I applied Vaseline to the mold, I need to clean one side to be able to stick the pieces. The important thing is that the upper side of the plastic pieces should be facing down. Here I used spacer again to make sure they are properly aligned. Since the pieces are quite small, you don't need to use steel reinforcements, but I already have them lying around, so I'll use it. You can find the mixing ratio on each package of concrete. This is how runny I like to mix concrete. You might want to add some more water to be able to cast easier. Don't add so much water though, concrete might lose its strength. I did tap onto the table, not on the mold because there is no mechanical fastener such as screw or nails to hold the mold together. If the mold would get damaged, you may not like it. After two days, I simply open the mold with X-Acto knife, hammer and screwdriver. Please be cautious when you use X-Acto knife, they are sharp. This is not necessary, but I would like to flatten the bottom side of the shelves. First, I round over the corners with old file. 
to prevent some possible chip outs on the corners. I'll be using these diamond pads, specially made for stone sanding. They are great. If you have some DIY concrete projects, you might want to invest in those sanding pads. I will leave the link in the description for the one that I use. After sanding, I left them to dry for two days. Once they are dry, I applied liberal amount of concrete sealer. The color will be more uniform when the seal is completely dry in 24 hours. And the shelves will be ready to hang. This is it for this week. I'll see you in the next one.